morning everybody okay here with another fisker update now this is the fisker study stock study because i'm studying up on all the quarterly earnings and all the material that has been released because i really want to understand if i how much more i should invest in fisker before quarterly earnings now i am of the view that fisker is going to be fine it's not going to go bankrupt it's it's going to be fine but there is a possibility that we might get quarterly earnings and Fisker can continue to dive down. Go to the 10 cents. Canoe is at 10 cents right now, the stock. And there's other stocks that have just disappeared. Basically gone bankrupt, disappeared from the main indices and gone over the counter. Is Fisker going to go over the counter? I doubt it, but that's why I'm doing this stock study. So look, I've printed, I don't know, about 200 pages. Basically, Q1, the first quarter earnings report, and the last quarterly earnings report, and another quarterly earnings report, plus shareholders letter, and some other information. Because I really want to dive deep. Now, this is what I found that's very interesting, and everybody needs to understand this, okay? Fisker launched simultaneously in Europe and the United States. And it opened several markets in Europe. Now, in Europe, EVs are the highest selling segment of vehicles. So Europeans are buying EVs. They're committed to sustainability. Um, that's something to, to, to stay focused on. Also, there was just a recent report on GM. GM is having issues in Europe. Basically, GM, people are not buying general motor cars anymore in Europe, you know, especially the gas ones. So General Motors is doing a big push to align itself with luxury brands in Europe so that they can promote the GM vehicles, which goes to understand who's attacking Fisker in the U.S. But Fisker in Europe, it's having a lot of demand, a lot much so than in the U.S. In some markets, Fisker already completely sold and delivered their Ocean One vehicles, so much so that they had to jump into the extremes. So... These are things to keep in mind. I'm going to call this the part three. But if you want to understand, if you missed any parts, look, part one is going to be the vision. Now, I posted 15 minutes of the quarterly earnings report on my channel, which is Henrik's vision from the last quarterly earnings. Hear that out. Study that. OK, because that's what this guy has in his mind, Henrik. And that's where he's going to lead the company to. So very important to study that. And part two is going to be the brand power. I've been talking about brand power on the videos. Now I'm going to start getting into the numbers in part four. But part three is really I need you to understand Fisker's markets. Okay. It has a market here in the U.S. It has a market in Canada. It has a market in Europe. So basically, if we really stream focus on it, it is in North America and it is in West Europe, Western European nations. But in reality, most of Europe, the European Union, okay? It's opening up in China. Now, I see a bunch of headwinds in China. I honestly do. China has lots full of EV vehicles that are not selling. China has problems right now. But we also opening up in India. Or Fisker's owning, opening up in India. Now, India is not China. India is doing very good right now. India is exactly where China was at 20 years ago. India is taking off. India already disrupted China as... The, the country with the highest population. But India has an interesting population growth explosion. 
First of all, India does not have those one child per couple limit, okay? No, nah, India, they can have kids. That's a good thing. But India is also highly educating its population. Now, that doesn't go to say for everybody, obviously. But there's a segment of highly educated Indians. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the Indian market. So understand Fisker's markets. Study Fisker's markets. This is going to be the part three. So part one of the study is the vision. Part two is brand power. Part three is the markets. Part four is going to start being numbers. Now, let's just real quick touch on numbers. Fisker is burning about $320 million per quarter. And it has roughly about $350 million left of money on its books. This is end of last quarter. Now, obviously, this is why a lot of people are thinking that Fisker is going to go bankrupt. It's running out of money. But... The thing is that it's done a bunch of deliveries, should be recognizing a lot of cash from deliveries. Some people, Ocean One, in his last video, he spoke about the potentiality of his estimations, 265 million, roughly. Well, I think it's going to bring in more money. I think it's going to be higher than 300 million, you know, up there, because it should be recognizing VAT. Income plus income from other areas, you know, I mean, it's selling merch. Now, that shouldn't bring in a lot of income. But remember, Tesla, but remember, Tesla was selling merchandise to offset its needs to raise cash. So we'll see how much that brings. But the reality is that uh, Fisker is cranking. So just FYI, I'll leave you guys with that. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Comment, share, and subscribe. The best way you guys can help me is by subscribing, giving the videos thumbs up, and dropping your comments on the comment section. I'll see you all on the next one.